Carmen Rodriguez, 14, spent half of her life without her Cuban father. He was not allowed into the States until three years ago. I was so excited. The day before, he had talked to me on the phone, and he didn't tell me anything. He actually, he actually tricked me. I was, like, so surprised. And then I gave him a hug, and it felt like a dream. This excitement soon gave place for a lot of fighting. Alfredo, at first, smoked a lot, and Carmen considered this unacceptable. They settled when he exchanged the tobacco for an electronic cigarette, a cultural clash that continues today. Even though me and my dad love each other, we still have our differences. He thinks I'm too young for certain things, like a belly piercing or having a boyfriend or even staying over at my friend's house. While I think it's perfectly fine for a teenager, um, most of my friends even have a tongue piercing. Why can't I get a belly piercing? Since she was 12, Carmen's mom allowed her to go out with her friends to the movies, carnivals, and parks. After Alfredo's arrival, her father restricted those activities. Esta generación está echada a perder. Ella no entiende que es muy pequeña para esas cosas. Now, Carmen's friend Carla is turning 15 and her family has prepared a big anniversary party. Carmen is not sure if she will be able to go because her father saw Carla's post of comments and pictures of her and her boyfriend on social networks. That's not fair. That has nothing to do with me. Who cares? It's just a boyfriend. Carmen's mother, Odalis, agrees with Alfredo about enforcing rules, but believes he takes it too far at times. Yo entiendo que ella está en una edad muy difícil y que hay que restringirla en muchas situaciones para su porvenir. Pero la situación es difícil porque cuando está conmigo, yo la comprendo y tiene alguna libertad, pero cuando está con su papá, no la deja salir ni con sus mejores amigas. Carmen's parents continue to struggle when it comes to enforcing rules for their daughter, but they remain a strong family. Cuando yo llegué a este país nunca pensé tener las cosas que tengo en estos momentos. Gracias a Dios tengo una gran familia y me va a dar más bien. This family, despite all the pitfalls they may encounter, continue to prevail and have family trips. Their favorite activity is to go out boating. At the end of the day, family is the most important thing for me and I'm so grateful to have my father back.